In this tutorial, we will look into the wiring of a typical three-phase distribution board. This will help you in better understanding about your house wiring and help you to troubleshoot and rectify some of the problems with the power supply in your house. What we will learn? How a circuit is wired in a typical distribution board? How parallel circuits are wired? Wiring circuits of different power ratings. Wiring single and three phase circuits. What are the common wire sizes, sizes for different power circuits? What are the common ratings of circuit breakers for different power circuits? We know a circuit consists of a supply uh, give, providing electric, electrical power to a source or a load like lamp or any other load. Uh, <laughs> here you can see the fuse. Uh, the supply is connected in series to the fuse and the switch. The fuse is used to protect the circuits from uh, overcurrent and the switch is used to control the lamp. Uh, in this case, it controls, it uh, helps us to switch the lamp on and off. The <laughs> You can see that the incoming uh, supply line is called is uh, denoted by L it is connected to the lamp through the fuse and switch and the outgoing connection from the lamp is connected back to the supply and this line is called neutral here you can see a typical distribution board uh, with uh, uh, all the common circuits wired through it. Here is the incoming cable. You can see in the cable there are 5 wires. So this cable is called a 5 core cable. Here is one example. You can see that there are 5 wires in this cable. and because we are wiring a three phase distribution board there will be three phases uh, one neutral and earth uh, please note i am following the international iec standards with regards to the color code but this is different for american and old british standards you should be careful about the color code because the color for neutral in one system may be the color for live in another system. However, the principles of wiring are the same everywhere. Okay, coming back to this cable, you can see there are three phases which are denoted by the colors brown, black and gray for the three phases blue for the neutral and green bar yellow cable for the earth earth wire okay so the same thing is shown here we have the uh, in the incoming cable we have the brown black and gray uh, for the three phases l1 l2 and l3 blue wire for the cable uh, for the neutral wire and yellow come uh, green come yellow wire for the earth wire uh, this wire may come from directly from the uh, supply company or it may be in case there are different distribution boards this may, wire may come from another distribution board which provides supply to this distribution board if uh, your house has only one distribution board of course this wire 
might be the one that comes from the supply company. You can see that the three wires, uh, the faces are connected to an isolator which is a three phase MCB. MCB stands for miniature circuit breaker. A typical uh, rating of a incoming cable of a house is 100 ampere. So this is a 100 ampere isolator. You can see that inside the distribution board there are three bus bars these are called these three uh, strips are called bus bars which are thick copper conductors which serve to distribute the electrical energy to different uh, sub circuits sub circuits means all of these are sub circuits for example this is a ac sub circuit feeding an uh, air conditioner or water heater this is a sub circuit lighting uh, provi uh, providing lighting this is a sub circuit providing socket this is a sub circuit providing a three phase mo uh, supply and so on so you can see that this uh, brown phase conductor is connected to the brown bus bar the black phase conductor is connected to the black bus bar a grey phase conductor is connected to the grey bus bar and the neutral is connected to a neutral link uh, and after that it is connected to a strip here which is used for connecting neutral wires there is no bus bar but there is a strip neutral bu uh, neutral uh, for, uh, strip for neutral connection here. Similarly, the earth wire, you can see the earth wire is connected to another strip which is used for connecting the earth wires. You can see a actual distribution board here. You can see this is the incoming cable. In this case, it is coming from top. It, uh, it, uh, in fact, in this case, it is coming from another distribution board and it enters the isolator, which is a MCB. And uh, you can see the three bus bar here. This is the three bus bars are one may be. Uh, you may note that this is not the color code uh, which I am discussing here. In this case, this is the old British color code you may keep that in mind so that means these are the three phase these are the three phases red yellow and blue and neutral is black and earth is same green bar yellow <coughs> so you can see that the three bus bars connected here and uh, the three bus bar the three bus bars are isolated from each other they should not be uh, they should never be connected together which, uh, or there will be a short circuit so now coming back to the distribution board you can see that each bus bar supplies different sub circuit for example you consider this water heater this water heater is fed from the grey face wire, grey bus bar. Okay, so just to follow how the circuit is completed here. As I mentioned before, a circuit starts from line, goes to fuse, then goes to switch, then goes to the load and comes back to the supply through the neutral wire. In this case, this grey wire is the supply, it goes to the switch, it go, then it goes to this particular circuit breaker, 20 ampere circuit breaker, then it goes to uh, a local switch for the 
load for the AC or water heater and it comes back uh, through the blue neutral wire it is connected to the neutral strip here then which is then is uh, connected back to the supply sorry now you consider another sub circuit which is a lighting circuit here you can see that in this case it is fed from the black uh, uh, black bus bar and it is fed through a 5 ampere circuit breaker which is connected to a ceiling rose ceiling rose means it is a, a particular connection for the lighting circuit basically it is just for facilitating uh, the connection to the switch and the load but you can see uh, it is the same as before that is from the supply the black face comes to the switch from the switch it comes back to sorry the load and from the load it comes back to neutral and the neutral goes back to the neutral bar now another sub circuit is fed from the uh, brown face which is the sockets you can see that the sockets are typically wired uh, in a ring fashion you can see that this so particular four sockets are wired from this uh, brown conductor or brown bus bar through this 32 ampere fuse and you can see that it is wired in all the uh, uh, sockets are wired in parallel this look like series but they are wired in parallel because a load will be connected between face and the neutral like this that means it will be parallel to uh, each other all the load uh, for this sockets will be parallel to each other and uh, you can see it uh, start from the circuit breaker or fuse goes to the phase conductor of this uh, first socket then next socket then third socket then last socket and it comes back to the same point similarly neutral from the neutral strip it goes to the neutral point of the first socket second socket third socket fourth socket and back to the neutral point so this forms a ring in both cases so it is called a ring circuit similarly earth wire also is connected in a ring now we will see the wiring of a three phase load you can see this is a three phase load the common three phase load we use in our house is a motor three phase motor so you can see that in this case uh, because this is a three phase load it needs connection from the three phases but no need for neutral no neutral so you can see that the it uh, gets a supply from both the red bus bar through the one fuse and uh, another uh, bus bar a black bus bar and also the gray bus bar and also you can note that these three circuit breakers work in conjunction with each other they are locked that means if one phase has a short circuit all the three will uh, trip that is why i have shown that as uh, linked here you can see in an actual circuit breaker you can see this is a three phase uh, circuit breaker you can see that uh, one circuit breaker will be connected to one phase second will be connected to this phase this will be connected to this phase and uh, the output goes to a uh, he in this case it goes to a three phase socket which can be connected to a three phase uh, load like a three phase motor uh, 
uh, one thing to notice the earth wire the earth wire uh, you can see the earth wire is wired like this you can see that actually basically for the functioning of the circuit we need only line and neutral that is line goes to the switch then it goes to the lamp and it goes to the neutral but for safety purpose we need earth wire earth wire you can see it is simply used to connect together the body of the equipment body means uh, the place where uh, human beings may touch okay for example the lamp holder or a switch the out outside portion of a switch all if they are me metallic if they are metallic they should be connected to the earth wire so the reason for this is even if there is a short between the line and the body the current will safely go through the earth wire rather than through the body of a person touching this uh, surface which is shorter so uh, once again the earth wire is simply use, uh, used to connect the uh, surfaces of the different metallic body of the appliances like switch or lamp and it doesn't need to form a circuit it is only connected to the earth terminal and nothing else so you can see that for each circuit the earth has been provided for example the first circuit we considered this is the ac or water heater uh, it is connected to the first the earth strip from the earth strip it is connected to the body of the di uh, this uh, d double pole switch and then to the body of the load you can see this is a double pole switch that means uh, you, uh, uh, normally the switch are single pole single pole means uh, for uh, example this is example for a single pole it will isolate only the face but in this case you can see both the gray face and the blue neutral are isolated by this dp switch or double pole switch this is for additional protection because this is a uh, large power equipment uh, to avoid any risk we are using a double pole switch so that is about the wiring of the earth here now see the wiring of this particular circuit the lighting circuit you can see the again the uh, wire the earth comes from this earth strip which is connected to the metallic whatever metallic parts are there it is connected to that the ceiling rose has a metallic part so it is connected to the body of the ceiling rose and uh, the this one way switch has a metallic part so it is connected to the body of the one way switch probably there is no metallic part for this lamp so it has not been uh, connected to the wire and uh, the ring circuit already i have mentioned for in this case the the earth wire is also connected in a ring and for this three phase mcb also sorry this three phase load also uh, we are connecting it to the earth like this uh, both of the mcb as well as the load are connected to earth you may note the differences uh, different wire thicknesses that we use for different circuits for this uh, lighting circuit it has a very low uh, load uh, low power compared to other circuits so we are using only a 1.5 mm square wire and also you can see we are using a circuit breaker of only 5 or 10 ampere but for a ac or water heater uh, which has a typical power rating of 2.5 kilowatt we have to use a larger wire which may be 6 mm square or at least 4 mm square and a <coughs> fuse which is rated at 20 or 30 ampere 
and for so socket outlet as a socket ring we have to use uh, a 30 ampere circuit breaker 30 or 32 ampere circuit breaker because it may uh, if uh, several sockets are connected at the same time it will draw a large current so we have to use a 32 ampere circuit breaker and also the wire uh, thickness that is required is 4 millimeter square and uh, for, uh, for considering the three phase load the wire thickness depends on the power of the three phase load three phase for example three phase motor uh, for example if uh, the power is 1 kilowatt we have to we can use a 2.5 millimeter square uh, thickness wire and uh, uh, a corresponding circuit breaker while choosing the wire size uh, you may keep in mind that the thicker the wire the better in an engineering point of view but it will cost more space and money uh, if you choose a thicker wire than necessary but uh, you cannot choose a less thick conductor than necessary because it will cause overheating in the conductor and in fact this is one of the reason for fire due to electrical wiring at the same time never choose a circuit breaker which is uh, too far above or too low below the required power that is because uh, but a small variation is allowed if you choose a too low circuit breaker uh, when the current uh, requirement is more than what the circuit breaker can handle it will trip which will cause intermittent tripping if you choose a circuit breaker which is too high uh, too high r highly rated than necessary then it may not provide overcurrent protection uh, uh, because it will not trip uh, until a current a high current is reached than which the circuit can handle but even uh, then uh, a small variation is uh, okay for example you make uh, use here instead of 5 ampere you can also use 10 ampere instead of 20 ampere you can use 30 ampere and so on and one thing you can notice how a parallel circuit is wired already we have seen here a parallel circuit we know is wired uh, parallel to the other loads uh, for example this the, here there are two lamps are connected in parallel here you can see these two lamps are connected in parallel uh, you may note that the their powers will get added for example in this case the total power of the circuit will be 200 watt so you have to choose wire and circuit breaker for this total load you must keep in mind that the wire thickness and circuit breaker sizes shown here are only typical if a circuit has more load than shown here then a higher wire thickness and circuit breaker have to be used please consult a qualified electrician uh, in case you are in doubt and uh, one more thing you can note all the three wire have same thickness Li line in general uh, the both the line the neutral and the earth wires have can be uh, we can use the same thickness wire for all the three one thing that is not covered in this distribution board wiring is how an rcd or residual current device which is a special circuit breaker uh, is wired which i hope to explain in a different video
so i hope you have followed how uh, the circuits in a typical three phase distribution board is wired you can see that in this uh, circuit breaker actually no circuits are wired except a three phase uh, supply connection here but in this uh, uh, circuit breaker you can see uh, some circuit breakers are used to supply different circuits so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video uh, please uh, let me know your comments uh, below thank you